Today, <clears throat> Saturday, the 9th of April, 2003, the time is at 3.30 p.m. Um, recording this from Chris Lee in the state of Queensland, Australia. And reading the promise for today, God's will, quoted. God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that he may abound for every good work. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. Now this book is about, this writing is uh, four to four writing. The first two writings of his were lost. The third one, um, uh, this is the fourth one, because there was a report from the, the church. And he needed to um, have bad news on the third, third time of his writing, but on the fourth um, report that he received of the church of Corinth was good. It, it was good, so he encouraged them. So the history about Paul, before he became a Christian, he used to persecute the Christians. They used to murder them and in the Roman times, but that was before he became a Christian. And this particular reading of the second of Corinthians chapter nine, he is a converted staunch Christian, he becomes an apostle, teaching the word of God, encouraging and proving why he has authority to teach. And this is his credentials um, in writing why he becomes an authoritarian and why he is capable of teaching and because you have a you have to have a good reputation you can't be in a ministry if people are accusing you or something you have to be um, scot-free in order to do god to be part of god's ministry so this is what he goes on to speak about in this particular writing in the second of Corinthians um, from today's comment Today's comment, Second Corinthians 9 verse 8. So, reading this writing, and so this writing here, and there are 15 verses of this particular writing of his fourth book, and he has um, several books that he has um, that he's the um, author, and so, uh, so about three this writing for today and this is about um, exhortations, uh, about a bounty, uh, force, authority. It's talking about how he finds money in order to help the poor people in this church, how he lawfully helps people to find money to fund and help the people in this church in Corinth, Corinthians. So this is what he's talking about here in this book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9. He's helping these poor people. He's finding the money and showing them how these people in the ministry find the money in order to help these poor people. So so this is what this story is about for today. So, for as touching the ministry, okay. somehow the mobile phone can stop, don't focus. I don't know why it's, it's, it's not focusing. For as touching the ministry to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you, for I know the forwardness of your mind for which I boast to you to them of Macedonia, that Archaia was ready a year ago, and your zeal hath provoked very many. Yet have I sent the brethren 
Unless they're boasting of you should be in vain in this behalf, that as I said, he may be ready. Less happily have they of Macedonian come with me and find you unprepared, we that we say not. He should be ashamed in the same confident boasting. Therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they would go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty. Wherefore he had noticed before that the same right that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty and not as of covetousness. But this say So this was therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they sh they would go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty. Thereof he that noticed before, whereof he had noticed before that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty and not as of covetousness. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth sith in his heart, as let him give not grudgingly, or of a necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that he always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. And now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread uh, for your food, and multiply your seed so, and increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched everything to all bount bountifulness which causeth through us thanksgiving to God. For the demonstration of this service not only supplies the want of the saints, but is abundant also by many thanksgiving unto God. Whilst by the experiment of this ministration, the glory of God, for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ, and for your liberal distribution unto them and unto all men, and by their prayer for you, which long after you, for the exceeding grace of God in you, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Now, we turn to another book that we can get some more insights about this reading. A Treasury Biblical Quotation uh, by Jennifer Speak. And um, so, here, edited by Jennifer Speak. And so, we look into this particular, into this second Corinthians, and in page 97 of her book, she has cited one verse. Now the one that she has cited is verse 7. She says, Every man according as he purposefully in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. So he's saying, These people in the ministry, you have no bad name against their name. If you, if you don't, if you have a good name, you're entitled to be in the ministry, and you have to give accordingly. With a good cheerful, you have to be a good cheerful giver in order to help the poor people in this particular um, place, current Corinthians, all right? And that's what Paul is giving advice to these people to give with a cheerful heart and they will be blessed by God in the ministry for helping the poor people. Okay, so now we go into um, this book here, the Life Application. Life application, uh, publication Tyndale. And so we're going to read what this, what this um, second Corinthians of this, um, of this particular reading of today's um, promise, God's word, uh, second Corinthians 9, 
um, her side, what is this book about and what is where we have quoted this particular verse and what is the message of God for today from this particular reading. So we go into look at this particular reading of the Bible and we see that it's uh, it's about it's about the principles of confrontations in Second Corinthians. So it talks about how they can overcome any problems that they may have. So this is Paul's advice to these people. So we we are looking at verses um, of this chapter from I'll tell you, Second Corinthians chapter nine verses three to five. So we're going to read from verses three to five of the life application. We apply these basic principles in our daily lives nowadays, especially those people in the ministry, how to help these poor people in this place. It says here in, um, in verse three, it says, "But I am sending the brothers." Uh, in order that our boasting about you in this matter shall not prove hollow, but that ye may be ready as I said you would be. For if the Macedonians come with me and find you unprepared, we not to say anything about you would be ashamed. And having been so confident, so I thought it necessary to urge the brothers to visit you in advance and finish the arrangements for the generous gift you had promised um, that it would be ready as a generous gift not as grudgingly given okay so what does it mean Paul reminded the Corinthians to fulfill the commitment that they had already made so we have to look at um, 2 Corinthians 8 verses 10 to 12 and then we have to say, and then this is what he says, they had said that they would collect a financial gift to send to the church in Jerusalem. Paul was sending a few men ahead of him to make sure their gift was ready. So it would be a real gift and not look like people had to give under pressure at the last minute. So ready as a generous gift, not as one grudgingly given. He was holding them accountable to keep their promise so that neither Paul nor the Corinthians would be embarrassed. Now we read from 6 um, to 8. It says, so, sowing generously. So it says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly, and whoever so generously will also reap generously. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And that God is able. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And God is, is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all. Yeah. Things at all times, having all that you need, you are bound in every good work. Okay, so you have here, so what does that mean? It means that people may hesitate to give generously to God if they worry about having enough money left over to meet their own needs. Paul assured the Corinthians that God was able to meet their needs. The person who gives only a little will receive only a little in return. Don't let a lack of your faith keep you from giving freely and generously. So we read verse 7, it says in verse 7, Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not for luxury or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver. Now, what does it say there? It says our attitude. When we give, it's more important than the amount we give. We don't have to be embarrassed if we can give only a small gift. God is concerned about how we give and the, the resources we have. So you see Mark 12, this is 41 to 44. And according to that standard, the giving of the Macedonian churches would be difficult to match. When you look at um, 
our second Corinthians um, chapter right this way. Then we look at verse 10. It says in verse 10, Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. So what does that mean? It means that God gives us resources to use and invest for him. Paul uses the illustration of seed to explain that the resources God has given us are not to be hidden. Foolishly devoured or thrown away. Instead, they should be cultivated in order to produce more crops. When we invest what God has given us in his work, he will provide us with more to give in his service. Now, the last um, verse is that quoted here verses 12 to 15 it says this service that she perform is not only supplying the needs of God's people it's also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God and because of the service by which you have filled yourselves men will praise God for the obedience uh, that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone else. And verse 14, and their prayers for you, their services, and their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace God has given you. And what does that mean? It says that Paul emphasized the spiritual reward with those who give generously to God's work. We should not expect to become wealthy through giving. Those who give your those who receive your gifts will be helped, will praise God and will pray for you. And as you bless others, you will be blessed. Okay? And so and so what is uh, the prayer for today? It says I place this day in your care, O oh God, thanking you for the blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. Okay, so we're going to turn to the Psalm reading of the Holy Bible. Yep. The Psalm of the Holy Bible is to have a lot of Psalm of the Holy Bible. I want to see you in the the <laughs> Yulukolito, <laughs> Sinona <laughs> Itaulia <laughs> Fine, 
ke polo ya la so ye fengo na de na pa malu ma pa malu se la so aura ne ave ma se lo tu tina ave ma le dosu ti ti ya ke se so ni ne ta ta ma ti ba ta wa ta ma ni na i ma to ya ve na ma i ta u le 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 na 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 ke ta ni ya ya sa fa ma ta la i le le ta la le fa na i am le 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 so to taifu ma le ta ti ya o ti pe ni ya Kau dah ada yang ada tua, sangat saya lihat ubalia, bayinya yang long ayam, ya masa angah, sekarang dah ada yang ada tua, ah sangat sekali nak bayar dia ini dia, eh mana omia, ah nak sangat sangat, sekarang dah ada yang ada tua, ah yang nak pak cun cun oleh dia, pak dia nak mau cipta ini dia tu siswa ni macam sangat sekali maksiba. Ah, itu ngaco itu ngalui 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 tu. Kalau ni ngalui tu sila ya sini, ni tu sini ole, ole lupa ni cuma tahu tu iba. Kalau tu ni mana tahu tu mai iya iya le ni alupa, nali macam mau. Ya itu sana, esok papa itu ni 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 tu siapa mai? Ini aku ngau no, aku tu siya siya tu cuma ni alupa. Ila apa ia hawa oil atau atau tiap-tiap, nau mita mita hai ya se atau imak itu ni ya, ina uas sah ni ya agaya caru caw sang oma bay, lo atau ma elengau, ko ini nasi kuai lo si lo si tu celi, awa aw aw na asu le aw usu le na, ina ne ifa le aw ngai, ina lo ma so mita mita ya se atau le ne ya. Aya umma on oto sao ni ape on o o faya tuai Ina ne i fa ma ina i ma to Ati tu pea Ia oto Ia ne i fa ma le si ina mita mita Te a fai ma to te o atu Ma ni ma te toni O na i loa i lea o oto Ua le umma on a sao ni a O le mea lea Na o ma na tuai E te tau o na o ai o ya tu ilo au u so le na Nah tu semua muat ya tu tu, ya muat semua muat sahun ni ayam, kau tu mahu apa? Tu ini nak cakap apa mai anak muat ini ia umur anak sahun ni oleh dia, efei osia ni ada pelawa, aile efei osia ni ada tipu ini masa dia dia, ala oleh ni efei aksi, oleh wa itu si. Ana saya tu lulu, itu si corona. Ana itu selimai, awalnya betulnya ana itu lulu itu corona. Ana itu selimai. Ia saya tu tak semua kuat ia corona. Kini kini kita nak lupa. Awak malah cina, awak kau malah fakta nak fakta awak nak wina. Awak yang lupa itu ia tu kuat mai malah lupa mami. Ia masa itu ia tu ona fakta ona ia tu tu umi alu tu umi. Kalau kala mana ya so mau mea umat ya so so mea malah ini ya kau lah ya so so ngah dengan lagi umat. Tiada tu siapa wajah fak salah lagi mana dia wajah macam dia macam siapa? Esok mau mana kami cinta bawa oleh ni oleh apa itu le apa itu itu le baru dua malam ni ay ke ay ya kau mai ayah. Maya pak selina lau so kuat, maka cipu ia defo lau so hamilton. Kalau pak sama lainnya ina so ina malawa, elui ina uang masa mau ina esupu ay pak sayi defo. Ona ona so awa besau nina defo. Ole nina lebih, ole na ona mau maya ole au pak ia kumbia ola so masih siapa. Apa cerita ni? Ina ide tua, ide cerita ni apa cerita? Kalau ni dia cerita tu ide tua, kalau saya long ini saya sah ni yang apa awal cerita orang Maya lau, lau semua awal ide cerita ni yang kita malam masa memau oleh apa? Saya cerita ni yang cerita tu, asal macam macam mana? Oleh Laksu tercalo pun mahu tu, untuk nau nau celiai, ia tu tu, untuk lihat lihat tu nau nau tu, umat suah celiai tu tu, tak cai lihat tu, mana mewah itu, 
problema sa amat sa ina. Wala ulit. Si Sinara, sa mga siya malusat sa kanya. O si Sinara, si Luna Iyasu. E dia não falou que o Loma faz o pai no Tele ou Fabiana ou a ou a Bia e o Sumo lá tá 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 aí o time lá tá se tiver por aí isso aqui Jadi mana orang yang mana yang lucu orang macam macam, orang yang lupa nama yang nak tuangan. Saat cili lomi macam macam, saya lalu lalu ke sini mahu cuma important. Ah, orang nak wasta nau. Eh, yang solah orang yang lina mau lomi. Macam ia nama yang lalu. Orang yang lupa nama cini ni sini, orang yang lupa cini ni sini macam ni. Kau tahu loh, ini ni cara macam ini macam ni pun cara. Ya, ini ada soundtrack ya. Ini macam ni, okey lah. Ia semua ni tu semua soundtrack ya. Cuma ini pun. Jadi si soundtrack tu tu semua. Ini musia nak lupa apa tu tu dia ni. Nanti alat dia ulu semua pakai yang ni tu conference board pasta. Anu tu ni tu tu ni. Ia udah ni. Conference nak file lah, aku di selama semua ni alih sama ni sembuh buat ni sama. Aje kiki ay, itu eh lepas ni siapa ni yang macam ni? Ah, ambil kesel buat sama itu. Mau ente ni? Ibu, es kiki ni apa sih ni mau lecet? Cakap kau yang cakap tu, tu boleh pesa. Tapi pesa ni kena. What should I do? What Thank you. 
This for my eyes, a shocking blood eyes, bloodshot eyes this morning. Uh, that's because um, on the internet it says I don't have enough rest, but I did all my um, cleaning the floor this morning, the whole house, and um, and um, and I think uh, think a part of it went on my eye. I accidentally put my wipe my hands on my eyes, close to my eyes, and I think that's what I needed that just to. Um, to clean it so but anyway and these are um, these are the other soundtracks I that I normally sing but this one I haven't really sung this one I've never really but that is my chord I do sing E flat and I sing it for other functions but a lot of my because you know there's no more cassettes nowadays um, everything is on the internet it's really different nowadays but um yeah, and no, I just like these um, choruses that I love to, to use, you know, that we have for churches. But anyway, that will be for today. Uh, it's um, on the past four on Saturday. And it's, um, um, it's my Facebook um, page. And, uh, and there's some um, uh, friends that I have on them that I have just and so that's my brother's too because he has issues with Facebook they banned him and then he has to create another page and there's some um, people who I know through um, families um, and that's um, him that used to be at my college, I know that's a friend of my uncle, my youngest, my brother's, my mum's youngest brother's friend, David Neal is his friend, which is that's my uncle, my mum's youngest brother, and so, so those people there, so these are uh, families of my grandmother and his, her father, um, Charles Sessa, is my mum's, um, his and her mum is a Malini Se, I think one of the Marines, one of my mum Se, that's her, his, her dad, and, um, and this is through the Samoan Assemblies of God, um, Samoan Assemblies of God. Um, that's through one of the volunteering places at One World, uh, one, one, World uh, one of the charities that's um, um, my mom's younger sister's in-laws her son, um, that's her um, that's her daughter's in-laws um, so and this is um, through my dad's family um, through the small assembly of God in New Zealand, um, her father, before he passed away, was the pastor of the Lower Heart Assemblies of God. She's also from the Samoan Assemblies of God in um, Porirua, and more of those people there. And also from the Samoan Assemblies of God, Samoan Assemblies of God. This one's just families of my mom, my mom's family. Her mum's family. This is our neighbour across the road. This is um, well, she passed away. That is sad. The former members of Simone Assemblies of God. Um, that's my another brother of mine. Uh, he's in New Zealand, um, and also another pastor of the Assemblies of God. Um, my mum's family on my grandmother's side. Uh, she's a well-known person of the. Um, Seven Day Adventures. I've only met her for a brief moment of uh, her family of the Samoan Seven Day Adventures at Tarbrook. I um, only met, saw this when he took a photo of me at Tamalaw's funeral. Um, and this one here, um, 
uh, Wikipedia, uh, of that's the family of my dad in the United States. That's my mum's cousin and grandma's family. That's my mum's family, my grandma's family. Um, well known from the Wikipedia. Um, my dad's family. That's my dad's wife. Um, also my grandma's mum's family. Uh, this. All oh, right, this person here is a Samoan assembly of God uh, from New Zealand, probably. Uh, she's a um, uh, brief person that I met through um, some employment agencies, but she doesn't like Facebook. I uh, went through the employment selection uh, agency, another um, person there that a job seeker. Uh, members of the Samoan Assemblies of God in New Zealand. Um, uh, this uh, person here, uh, well, I'm not too sure about this one here. I haven't seen this one. This is new. But it was, uh, I, I don't know where that came from. I don't recall it. But anyway, this one here, I don't know. This. All right, sorry. She's, uh, I just remember now, she's a uh, family of my grandmother. My grandmother, Fufui. It's one of her um, sister's daughter or something, my grandmother, so I don't really know them, but um, she's actually um, her, the niece's cousin, so that I don't know them, but some of ones, but I thought she was a family, but I, she told me that she's related to my grandmother, Fufui, and now I remember, and the families of my mom here in me and also my sister in some um, married to the world. Okay, and those are my friends on Facebook.